before we get started, there's a few questions that I would throw out there just as kind of food for thought. Um, you might kind of think about these things and then kind of position your company as, as it would relate to the answers to these questions. Um, first being when you're awarded a project, are you still manually entering budgets into your project management software or do you take every project that's awarded and have that information flow electronically from your estimating system into your project management software, obviously reducing the uh, possibility of, of errors and omissions in those budgets. Secondly, um, seems more and more, especially with some of the requirements that owners are demanding from contractors today in, in terms of report output and project updates, that in many cases it's no longer good enough to have a fixed set of budget codes or job cost codes associated with a project management system or a job costing system. That in some cases, if you do work for owners that wield a lot of power and a lot of spending power, you may have to adhere to project specific budget codes. The question becomes how easy can you adapt assigning items in an estimate to those project specific budget codes. So how well can you respond to that requirement today? When a project is completed, and of course you make a significant investment in, in managing that project to completion, and you now have access to actual costs on that project, do you repurpose that information? Do you use that information all the way back upstream um, in two ways? not only to potentially allow you to respond to a feasibility budget or a courtesy estimate in a much more reasonable, efficient, accurate uh, process, but then do you also utilize that actual cost information to potentially benchmark what might be considered a detailed final estimate prior to communicating that estimate to the owner. So again, not only utilizing that information to build a conceptual or parametric budget, but also using that information to benchmark what you might believe to be a final estimate prior to communicating that to the owner. Are you able to mine your estimate history to more quickly and accurately respond to a current opportunity? Um, I was speaking with a contractor uh, not too long ago that told me their investment in providing what and I, and I like this phrase, what they refer to as courtesy estimates, is a significant investment. Um, they explain to me they don't take that process lightly. And we all know that we're in an interesting industry that even though I may have to present a, a courtesy budget or a conceptual estimate in the absence of detailed specification, the owner will never forget that number that is first communicated. Hence, the significant investment in time in developing that conceptual estimate. I, a contractor will always be measured against that initial number that's communicated. When you create that feasibility budget, the next thing that's kind of interesting is, does that initial feasibility budget carry forward as the starting point for your eventual final estimate when you do have access to detailed plan and specification? So, or do you always have to start over again when creating your, your detailed final estimate? So having said all that, if you think, hmm, you don't necessarily get a passing grade on each of those, then it's good you're on this webinar today because we need to talk. And what we're here to present today is what we often internally refer to here as closed loop integration. And if you follow the graphic here, this is kind of what I explained earlier. The idea that I could have, and we, we could start just about anywhere here, but if I have a, a, a detailed estimate that I'm creating in the WinS core application, so that the WinS application itself, where I, when I do have access to detailed specification and scope, I can create that detailed estimate in WinS, and now with this integration that we just introduced, I can then take that detailed estimate and have that information flow through and feed the prologue budgets 
in the project management software. So I can actually set up electronically those, those budget accounts from the detailed estimate. And then if we fast forward to the point where that project is complete, and I now move from not only having budgeted costs, but I actually have actual costs on that project, I can then turn around and take the actual cost from Prolog and push that information all the way back upstream to our application called Modelogix, which is our experience management system. And by pushing completed project cost upstream to Modelogix, I now have that information to build my next conceptual estimate to respond to a current opportunity that's in front of me. And I also have that information there to benchmark my next detailed estimate. And as I said earlier, on the earlier slide, once I have my conceptual estimate all the way up front here in Model Logics, I can then turn around and push that conceptual estimate back into my detailed estimating application as the beginning point for my detailed estimate. And once again, I can repeat this process. So again, assuming I'm awarded that project, I can once again, I can take that information, push it to Prolog, and this whole life cycle starts over again. This is the type of integration that people have been wanting and desiring for a number of years. And as Holly mentioned, we're very pleased to have uh, developed this and, and released this uh, integration six months after the announcement of Trimble Buildings. 